Follow this quick tip to enable layer wrapping within walls to align to elements within your door or window families, like so. Firstly, let's enable wrapping on this wall. I'll go to my floor plan, select the wall, select edit type, and for the wrapping at inserts, I will select both, and in the structure of the wall, I have enabled just the external layer and the internal layer to be wrapping by selecting the wraps box in the particular layer. Click OK and OK again and I can see that the external most layer and internal most layer are now wrapping and I can see that they are wrapping and meeting at the center line of the wall. So in order to control the wrapping in relation to the door, I can select the door family, select edit family. I'll go to the floor plan in the family. And if I zoom in and turn off thin lines, I can see that I have a reference plane, not the center reference plane, but a reference plane, which is the front of the frame. If I just go to the type properties and change the front frame offset value to 100 to demonstrate, I have a reference plane for the front of the frame here and a reference plane for the rear of the frame here. If I select both of these reference planes using the control button on the keyboard, there is a property under the construction group called wall closure. If I now tick this property for these two reference planes and I load back into the project and overwrite, I'll turn on thin lines again. I can see that the layers are now wrapping and finishing at where the frame reference planes are located. So I can now drag the door frame backwards and forwards or set a specified frame front offset. And the wrapping will finish at the extents of the reference planes. So that's a good tip in order to control wrapping within walls for doors and also other wall base components. If I go into the cut 3D I have, I can see the same effect here with the layers wrapping.